Hey everybody, welcome to Mammoth Interactive's YouTube channel. First of all, I want to thank you for watching this video. And remember that this channel doesn't do Patreon, instead we sell our digital courses down below. And every single dollar that we get from the products you buy below goes into making more content. The best way to help out this channel and Mammoth Interactive is to subscribe to Mammoth Interactive's huge library of content. Get thousands of hours and hundreds of courses for a low, low price down below. We have a monthly option and a yearly option. Thanks for listening and I'll see you in the video. Hey everybody, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add in a font here. Now, adding in fonts can be very difficult and very time consuming and it's a little bit more confusing than one might think. So this is going to be a very short tutorial that shows you how to add in fonts. So you can pull up any scene like I have here and we need to go find a font. So how do we do that? Well, let's go ahead and let's add, go to our Google fonts here. Now I've selected a font called Alata and you can uh, download this family right here. Um, I'm not going to go into so much of what the fonts are, but you can basically go here, find a free uh, font here and you can go and add it. Now one of the things I highly recommend is that you do spend some time looking at fonts. Bad fonts can completely ruin a game and it's one of the things that makes amateur games uh, very apparent. Okay, So it is important, it's not as important as let's say programming, but it is important. right? Now one of the things uh, that uh, Unreal comes with is R Roberto. Roboto. And uh, let's go ahead and let's first of all add in a user interface widget just so that we can go and make sure that uh, this does work. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're simply going to call this heads up display or HUD and let's open it up here. All right, let's go ahead and let's add in just some text, kind of move it into the center here. Uh, maybe up at the top and then let's anchor it up to the top middle and you can see that the font family is again Roboto right and what you can also do is change the size here and uh, you always want to size to content um, you know that that also looks pretty good right you can see that the box moves around and you also want to make sure that it's centered right because this is of course well center okay so as you can see that looks pretty good but we want to add in our own font. So I've already downloaded a lot of, and I've also um, added it to, uh, or I've extracted here. So let's hop back and we need to, well, basically install this here. So very simple, drag it over. And you're going to see that, would you like to create a font um, using the imported font face as the default font. We'll say yes to all. Now what this is going to do is that this is going to give a font here and what it's going to say is a lot of regular. Now you probably have heard of fonts being italic or bold or thin. Regular means just the regular. So that is what we call the font weight. Heavier weight means thicker fonts usually used for display. I'll talk about that in another tutorial. This is just a simple tutorial on how to get things going. All right, so as you can see, we now have that here. Now, if you don't do that, you're going to have to create a font and basically create this font by itself. And it's very simple um, to do, but you just basically want to say yes. Now, as you can see right here, we now have our Roberto font or Roboto font. And then let's switch it to that Alata font. All right, and there you go. That looks pretty good here. Now, as you can see, um, you know, the font um, family, we have the typeface here, uh, is just default. Now, if we go back, I don't think we can go back here. Uh, yes, we can go back here. So it doesn't it doesn't really matter here. You, there's a lot of cool things you can do with fonts, but essentially that works here. One last thing, because everyone's going to ask, is let's go and let's add that to the screen. So let's go to our blueprints, third person game mode. Okay, if you don't already have an event begin play, type in event begin play. Okay, we already have it here. We're going to create a widget. Which widget is that going to be? The heads of display. Drag this blue item out here, and we're going to say add to viewport, and that's going to add to viewport. Compile that, make sure everything's good to go, and let's run it. And voila, we now have our text block here 
and with our cool looking font. All right. So that concludes this tutorial. Thank you so much for listening. Please be sure to like and subscribe. It really does help with the channel. It would really be good if this channel could get monetized. As of this video, this channel is not monetized. So liking and subscribing would help here. And there's a lot of other tutorials and other content and news from Mammoth Interactive. So please like and subscribe. If you really like this channel, this channel does not do a Patreon. Said we sell our digital products down below. The more money we get from the content that you buy below, the more content here we can make. And the more free tutorials we can make by the way and we have courses from everything from unreal to unity to blender to machine learning and more we have a very very low price of monthly and yearly with the uh, with a discount in the description and our goal is to get the 10,000 monthly subscribers if we can do that we will become one of the best e-learning companies out there because we are just so good at it thanks for listening and i'll see you in another video